Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to all our new family members that have joined the channel. I mean, I've had a lot of new visitors lately, which I'm obviously so grateful for and thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I haven't posted in a few days because I've been sick um, and literally you guys, it's been killing me. It's been killing me to not post anything. I also want to adjust my brows. They do look a bit crazy, but I'm filming a first impression video on a specific product and that video will be up this week as well so you can all the brows um they will be better at the end hopefully i'm begging i'm hoping but yes i have been sick and um i'm kind of recovering i still feel sound a bit funny but i just wanted to film and um, today's video is going to be on the jacqueline hill palette i bought this over the weekend and i have been dying to put this on my face um i got it off beauty bay it's out of stock at the moment but they said it will be back in stock next month so make sure to join their waiting list um but i've been swatching the colors like crazy but i haven't put them on my face um just look at it it's just stunning i'm just gonna go for that classic jacqueline hill smoky eye i'm just thinking of doing like a really nice like halo kind of eye so yeah let's just jump straight into it i'm gonna first prime my eyes so i'm first going to prime my lids with the urban decay naked skin concealer in medium dark warm I'm not going to go too close to the brow because I'm going to fix that later when I fix my brows. I'm going to use this shade right here to set my eye. I do have to say though, it is quite a big palette. Very big. I feel like maybe this could have been a mirror but I'm not too bothered. So I have been swatching the colours and they feel super creamy. I do wish though there was a lighter matte shade in this palette like a banana matte shade to set your eye makeup because she has two pale shades but they're just shimmery next up i'm going to use this color right here which is like a mustardy yellow i have been dying to use this color so let's do this i really want to saturate this on the outer corner so you can see it i'm going to go in with this camelie shade right here Okay, so I'm now going to go with this colour right here and just like slowly build these shades up. Ton of fallout. I'm kind of happy I did my eyes first. I'm really, really, really not bothered with fallout. I wanted to go with like a green look but then I was just like, let me just do that classic kind of bronzy look. Well, I'm going to try that. You know that bronzy smoky eye that Jacqueline does. Then I'm gonna go in with this brown right here. And then I'm gonna go in with this dark dark brown right here. Want it to be very very smoky I'm gonna take a flat brush and use this color and like wet it with the brush glam glow setting spray in the center keep tapping concentrate on the center and like roughly bring it out sometimes I use my finger to help me I'm also going to take a tad bit of this colour and put it right in the centre I'm going to get wet it not really bringing this anywhere, I'm just like patting it on the centre and use your other brush to kind of look at that more brown here 
the colours definitely feel like black butter, like literally. I'm gonna wipe the excess off and it's quite a bit. That's the only thing, so. I did find that I have to layer quite a bit to get really good, good colour payoff on my skin tone. That's what I feel, especially with the darker browns. It's definitely there, but I felt like I need to work, I needed to work with it. Um, but nevertheless, I think this looks really good. I think Jacqueline, like, does a much better job at her smoky eyes than me, but that's okay. Okay, so I'm going to do the other eye and put some lashes on and I'll be right back. Right, so I just applied my lashes. These are the Ilo Vegas Ney Grand Glamour Lashes. I really like these ones because they're just like fluttery and not like wispy. They're just like, just fluffy, you know? And I feel like with um, Halo Eyes, it goes really well with it. So for foundation today, I'm going to use my Sleek Light Proof Foundation in LP11. I'm just going to buff this in with my Vanity Planet Foundation Brush. Flat Top Stippling Brush. I don't want to put too much foundation. I will fix around my brows later on, but can you see it does oxidise, so that's when it first applied it, that's when it oxidises. Just going to apply my Urban Decay Concealer. I'm just going to set my under eyes with the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I'm going to kind of contour my face with the Nip and Fab contour palette and I'm going to use this colour right here. I'm just brushing off the excess baking. For blush I'm just going to use my favourite blush at the moment which is the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in Just Peachy. And since this is a Jaclyn Hill video, we might as well use her Champagne Pot Highlighter with Becca Cosmetics. Just going to set my face. Whilst that's setting, I'm just going to use some of the browns we use on the lid. I'm just going to go in with that dark brown right close to the lash line. I'm using this wonderfully real mascara by Rimmel that was sent to me by Influencer. I like it but I just feel like it's not like a pure black, it's definitely like a greyish black. I'm just going to let that dry. For lips today I'm going to use the Dose of Colour Liquid Lipstick in Knock On Wood. Packaging's a 10 out of 10 for me. first time using any dose of colours liquid lipstick and the doe foot applicator is perfect. I'm going to let it dry, it is a bit on the lighter side but let's see how it is when it dries up. So I'm going to take a little pencil brush and I'm going to grab, I'm going to grab this shade right here from the palette and really like put that in the inner corner. I'm going to wet it. So I'm going to fix up my brows and I'll be right back. So this is the finished look guys. I did my brows. You guys will have to wait for the video to see my reaction. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I feel like I just need to fix. Ending. I definitely love my Jaclyn Hill palette. It's definitely really, really good. The colours are buttery. For £37, It's I think it's a good price and I'm really happy I didn't get it from the Morphe website because I would have paid so much more money 
to get this palette so I'm really happy I waited for the palette make sure to join the wait list if you do want to get your hands on it because it does go out of stock and also let me know if you want to see other kind of more dramatic looks with the palette or other colours let me know in the comments below I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time bye